Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. In today's video, we have a few things we're going to get into, okay? But the first thing I want to get into is Nicki Minaj. Um, her single is still in the top 10, and it has been in the top 10 for two months, okay? Two months, eight weeks consistently, consecutively, okay? Um, and that is like a big deal if you ask me. If you ask me, that's a big deal, all right? And that means that it ties Anaconda with the longest running top 10. Um, the same amount of time Anaconda was in the top 10 so far. Um, Super Free Girl was in the top 10 as well for that same amount of time so far. All right. But we are expecting for Super Free Girl to, you know, go higher and extend longer than two months. We're we trying to get to 20 weeks in the top 10. OK, but in order for you to do that, you have to continue to stream, buy the song and show support on the song. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to this next topic okay okay y'all so we're gonna get into you know this next topic all right is about cardi b um you know that song she did with glorilla um tomorrow yeah the song that you know lives in the top 10 you know her records live in the top 10 okay cardi okay um the song has fell out of the top 10 and it's now number 20 something and this is why you know you should never get so comfortable when you get comfortable you get humbled fast you know it was so much drama that week when the song came out you know cardi b you know she became selfish and she made the moment about glorilla about her cardi b you've been getting top tens you've been seeing number ones you know what i'm saying so then glorilla gets her top 10 hit and it gets disguised by the drama between you and all these female rappers that were on the queen mix so you know it's <laughs> it just shows you karma is real karma is real and karma is definitely real for people who are just nasty and negative so you know what i'm saying so hey i just really feel like she need to wash that damn mouth wash that mouth because it always comes back to bite her you know, it always comes back to buy her. But that's, you know, that's neither here or there. Um, but yeah, it's just a lesson learned for Cardi. And just keep the mouth shut. Your records don't live in the top 10. They haven't lived in the top 10 since 2020. Um, and yeah, Cardi, just please give it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yes, you guys, how do y'all feel about, you know, Cardi B bragging about being top 10? And then next week she falls out of the top 10. Um, I want to know your opinions on that. And um, until then, we can go ahead and move on to this next topic. All right, let's move on. Okay, yeah. So as you all know, Nicki Minaj is an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. And you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she gets them deals. So, you know, she has a collaboration with Rap Snacks. In case you guys do not know what Rap Snacks is, Rap Snacks are the brand. They, you know, get rappers and they make, you know, chips and snacks and they put them on to the bag. Like, on the actual chip bag and then they'll they'll make different flavors after that certain artist so you know what i'm saying Nicki minaj is the newest addition to rap snacks which is a big big deal because you know what i'm saying um Nicki minaj has actually sold out of the rap snacks and not just once she sold out twice of the rap snacks um so if you want to go ahead and copy some uh barbecue barbecue um chips Go ahead and go to Rap Snacks and copy some chips. But they sold out. So I don't know when they're actually going to come back. Um, you know, knowing that it's Nikki, it may not be back for a couple of months because it may take some time to, you know, produce and get restock. Um, maybe not two months, but maybe a little bit sooner. But it may take some time. I'm not sure. But, you know, Rap Snacks will for sure give you all an official statement on when it's going back. But, yes, that is a big deal. How do y'all feel about Nicki Minaj being in the Rap Snacks? You know, you're going to go to your gas station. You're going to be seeing her on the shelf with her face on there. You're going to pick you up some chips. Take a little crunch. Yeah, get your little barbecue. Yeah, I'll be snacking on them chips. Yeah, get you a little cool little Arizona with that. And you got your little snack. And it's good. You chilling. And you chilling. But yes, y'all. Are y'all going to cop you some wrap snacks, Nicki Minaj edition? I want to know if you're going to be taste testing, snacking, you know what I'm saying, munching down. Um, And yeah. And speaking of munch, we're going to get into, you know, Cardi B did a remix to the munch girl, Ice Spice. Um, And, you know everybody hated the remix okay everybody hated it but you know i think cardi b might have wrote that one you know what i'm saying i think cardi b might have wrote that i really do because you know it just sounded you know like she wrote it <laughs> but yeah how do y'all feel about that 
But let me get into what I really think happened. Um, she then says that she's not going to drop the song because, you know, she's just like she just likes it. She doesn't love it. Um, but if you have been, if you actually have on the track, that mean at some point in time she was going to drop the song and she was going to drop the remix with the Munch Girl. And I feel, let me let me tell you what I think happened. Okay, I feel like Cardi B saw that Ice Spice um, showed love and said she wanted to do a Nicki Minaj collab. You know, that's when she changed her mind and didn't want to drop, you know, the song with Ice Spice anymore. That's what I feel like would happen um, because I feel like that is just the only thing that could really happen. Because what other reason would you not drop the remix for? Um, the song is bad. Her, her remix did not sound that good. Yes. But, you know, she does drop a lot of things that don't sound good in general. But why this one you're not going to drop? You know, I don't know. I just kind of feel like, you know, it's just I feel like that's what it was because um, Ice Spice was in a little interview um, with a Twitch streamer and she said, um, I would love to collab with Nicki. Don't we all want to collab with Nicki? And I feel like that is where, you know, Cardi said, you know what? You want to show all this love to her on, on you know, in the interview? That's it. That, that's it. I'm going I'm to I'm pull this remix and I'm going to just post a little video about it and I'm going to let it be known. I'm not going to drop this song because you're trying to be on that weird stuff. The obvious, like Nikki, like of course we all want to work. Don't you want to work with Nikki? Yeah, we all want to work. Don't yeah, you Nikki, want to work with Nikki? Nikki been liking my tweets. Yeah, she no, I'm from Trinidad. Yeah, I swear to God, you a bar, bro. But yes, I feel like if this is true, I definitely feel like it's kind of weird how like you know you're gonna dictate your next you know remix based upon if somebody likes your enemy or not. Um, it just shows you like that Cardi B's career is in the shadow of Nicki Minaj. Um, her entire career is like an afterthought of female rap every move she makes is based on somebody else's move which is why she hasn't dropped her album yet because she you know wants to you know see what nikki's gonna do before she drops her album and her label is not gonna let her drop her album until nikki drops her album so you know it's just a lot of weird stuff that's been going on with her lately and you know i have to be addressing it because i like to address it and be you know put my opinion on it and just be honest about what is what and just tell the truth and that's just how i feel now, how do y'all feel about it? Do y'all feel like, you know, this is why Cardi B did not drop the um, Munch remix with um, Ice Spice? Do y'all feel like, you know, Cardi B just knows the song was trash and that's why she didn't want to drop it? Or do y'all feel like it's some other reasons why? Either way, I'm, I don't care because I'm not going to listen to it any, anyway. So, you know, honestly, I don't really care that much. But I just want to know your opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, be sure to leave your opinion in the comment section down below. Uh, like, subscribe, tap that bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.